What's going on guys? I'm the Tim Eister and welcome back to Dunswell. In this episode, we're heading back to Industrial Island as I'm gonna get started on the quarry. I've been wanting to build this quarry for a very long time now and I think I have enough industrial demand to support it. If not, whatever, it'll at least create jobs, it'll contribute to the economy, it'll do a lot of great things. So anyway, we're gonna get started on that in this episode. I've already laid down my zonage so I have a big quarry zone, which encompasses this entire mountain range here. And we're gonna get started on it. So a while back, I dug this big pit. So this island pretty much used to be a giant mountain range. Like the mountain was all of this zone here. I didn't really like the way it looked. It divided the island. It didn't leave me with enough room for all of the industries that I wanted. So I just completely destroyed the mountain and built this big pit. And in this pit will be the quarry. We're gonna try to squeeze in all of the necessary buildings within this hole. But first I have to lay down the main buildings for the quarry and then we can uh, start extracting materials after that. So what I'll do is I have this flat, well, relatively flat area right here where all of the sort of administrative buildings will go and then maybe some of our, uh, what would I call it like, um, oh geez, I can't even think of the word now, but if I go in my menu here, like all of our, our maintenance buildings and all of our like factories, grinding mills, everything like that, everything that shouldn't go into a giant pit will go in this flat area here. So let's have a road, an industrial road that is coming up to, I'm just gonna make it go straight out and then we'll have a dirt road leading into the actual quarry pit. Oh shoot, I think this section of road was elevated, which I do not want. Uh, let's see. No, it was at zero meters, but I think it's because I have straight slope. There, I'll just have this going like that, and then we'll have the dirt road eventually going into the pit. So first off, we're gonna need our main building which I will place, oh shoot, I don't have enough room right here. But I think I might, oh, it's like right on the edge. I think I just might place the main building here. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. All right, so we have that down already. Second building is a small ore mine. So this is a building that should go down into the hole. So I'm gonna place that in just a second. But there was another building here, an ore grinding mill. And this is responsible for processing uh, ore into metals. Yeah, so this creates metal, which can then be used to create products in factories. And I have sand storage as well. Uh, okay, it's just used for storing raw materials. All right, so first off, we gotta provide the quarry some water. And let's take a minute or two to lay down some streets going down into the quarry. And I'm gonna have to kind of build this quarry out in stages, just because I don't know how all of the, the like the quarry buildings are gonna fit in the pit. Cause there, there are some quite large quarry buildings here. So I'm just gonna build a simple road, just kind of contouring the sides of the quarry like this. I think I'm going to have enough room, though, for everything. There. We'll start off with a nice loop. And then I'll go back into my industries menu and we'll place down a small ore mine. Actually, maybe a couple. Oh yeah, and another thing I probably should do as well, you don't really find much quarries with trees in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of these trees, and what I'll do is I'll use Surface Painter at some point to detail this area. I'll add some rocks and add a whole bunch of details. and We'll make it look nice, but that'll come a little bit later in the series probably at the very end of this quarry, which is probably gonna take a few episodes actually in order to get done. 
Oh, and I guess these buildings need water. Strange enough, but we'll go ahead and do that for them. And power, let's provide them with power. So I have this major power line highway leading up to the nuclear power plant. This runs right in between the oil production facility and the quarry. So we can tap off of this to provide power to the quarry. So this is rather convenient. All right, so let's do that. Uh, what else do we got here? We have a ore grinding mill. So we're gonna start off with this as our first sort of factory building. I'll place that down right here. And then let's, oh my God, this is huge. Let's place down some sand storage. I'll just place it on the other side of the main road here, just because we have enough room. And I'll expand the quarry area into this little bit here. Perfect. So we now have an operational quarry on a very basic level, but it works. So that's the main thing. Now let's check our industry area info and let's see what's going on here. So uh, we are a level one. Let's see what we need to do in order to reach level two. So right now we're producing ores, which will eventually be transformed into metals. So produce resources until next level. We need 500 resources and we need 150 workers. All right, so we may need to place down a couple more buildings here to support all of the workers. We're hovering around 67 right now, 69. Seems to be jumping around a little bit. People quit, people come in. It's just the way it works. Uh, let's set this to fill for now. So I think our Oh, we're getting a little bit more employees, but I think our priority right now should be getting more workers. So in order to do that, let's maybe just place down a couple more small ore mines. I'm going to have to play around with the terrain a lot in here as well. You know, I just created a sort of basic quarry outline. But I'm going to have to... Uh, modify the terrain to support this. There, so let's start off with that. That should probably give us the amount of employees we need. We're at 96. 99, maybe not. Oh, 111, they're going up. But holy crap, it needs a lot of workers in order to level up crazy all right well what else could we place down some more storage maybe how many employees does this give it doesn't say workplaces 45 or grinding mill maybe I'll just place down some more storage buildings just in case and I know these buildings give off workers as well. I think, yeah, seven to 12. They don't really give a lot though, but it's okay. Oh, but look at that. We are workers until the next level. 123. We're close. And for the resources produced, I'm not too worried about that. We're just eventually gonna get to 500 no matter what we do. Uh, let's see what happens with our policies, actually, while we're waiting. Uh, more efficient deliveries, it seems like. Increased stored capacity, extractors, and processing buildings by 20%. But then it increased the upkeep cost by 10%. But honestly, if this... Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Safety at work is... Da -da -da. Increased worker health. I guess we could do that. It's not very expensive. 
Uh, okay, so we can automate a lot of our jobs. So it increases the upkeep by 10%, but it also increases the production output by 10%, but let's not touch that for now. All right, let's see how we're doing over here. Still don't have enough employees. Oh my God, is this gonna be the challenge with this quarry is just getting enough people working? I suppose we will, I'm gonna place down another ore grinding mill. You know, at least we'll uh, we'll be proactive because I'm eventually gonna need another one of these anyway. And look at that. We have enough workers. Now it's just a matter of getting to enough resources. Okay guys, there's one big problem here that I've just noticed and that is that there's no good road connection to our quarry. Right now, all of our materials that are going to be exported from this pit are gonna have to make their way through this little road here. So right here is gonna be a big bottleneck potentially. So I may have to create multiple connections to this main avenue. But this main avenue here in itself is kind of a problem because ideally what I would want is a direct connection to this highway for products to be able to be exported. Otherwise, I think the trucks have to drive along this main road here and go through a bunch of hoops in order to get onto the highway or just drive on this road and then go into the roundabout and out. So what I should do is create an interchange that kind of bypasses this roundabout and connects directly to this main road here, which I think and hope will be primarily used uh, for the quarry, because I think the shortest route for all of these other industry buildings, it's best if they just go through the roundabout, which seems to function really great. But anyways, uh, so I'm gonna take a minute just to create a very simple interchange here that'll link up this main road. Nothing complicated, I'll just have to modify this interchange slightly but I will have to pause the game though in order to implement this modification just to give us a tiny bit more room so what I'll do is I'll have this road go straight for a little bit and then I'll have it turn in to connect back up uh, actually you know what I'm gonna have this going straight like that and then I'll connect this up like so I'll reverse this back to the right direction and then this road will come up like this and then meet up kind of like this I'll fix this up in just a minute but what I want to do is this So we'll have an entrance, actually. Let's start it off here. All right, guys, so we got the on-ramp built. I think it looks all right. I think that'll function all right as well. So let's create the off-ramp coming off the highway, which uh, is pretty simple. There. That should do it. Yeah, that doesn't look half bad as well. There we go. And then maybe I'll just clean this up a little bit as well, create a more, not as jagged of a transition. Over here, it looks not too bad. There we go, guys, the power of move it. Absolutely amazing. All right, so this will be way more functional. This will improve 
the efficiency of the quarry by like thousands of percent. This is fantastic. So I'm going to hit play and this will surely help out. All right, guys, here we go. Finally, level two. So let's see what we unlocked. Ore Industries, Workers, Barracks, that's as good. An industrial steel plant, which we eventually want to build. Glass manufacturing plant, some more ore storage, and small ore mine underground. Perfect. And yeah, I'll have to get into some factories at some point. Um, I'm thinking of maybe repurposing a lot of this industrial land and all of like the free space that we have uh, so we can fit some factories. So that would be really cool. All right, so let's go into our industries menu and I'm gonna start off by placing a barracks first of all, just to provide enough workers for the whole plant. I'm gonna place this right here using anarchy again. So our power lines don't really get into the way. And actually maybe I should proactively place down two of them, you know, cause eventually we're gonna become a really massive quarry with tons of workers. And for now, let's place down a couple of small ore mines underground. So I'll place one down here. Does this create anything different? Not really. How, what's the output of this? So production rate 6,400 versus 4,800. Okay, so they are a little bit more productive. I'm not gonna go too crazy with these, but I'm gonna place enough that we do see some more output. And let's go check our manufacturing plant. So we unlocked a glass manufacturing plant. This obviously transforms ore directly into glass at the rate of 3,200 units per week. So let's place one of these along our main road over here. Oh, I'll have to provide some water. And then, going to have to branch off another road going in this direction. And then I will connect it up like so. And I'm hoping this will leave us with enough room to place down our first production building. Oh my god, no it does not. And I don't really want to place these under power lines. Oh, but I may be able to place it down like this. Hang on here. Uh, yeah, nope, it won't even fit in this orientation. Yeah, it will. Oh yeah, look at that. The power line just barely clips into it. Not a big deal at all. There we have it, guys. Look at that. We have a functional quarry. Things are looking good. Let's check our production rates just to make sure that everything's working. So it's gonna take a little bit until the glass production, the glass manufacturing plant gets up and running. We'll just have to wait until trucks make their way to it. But in the meantime, let's go and place down some more storage units. So I don't think there's any difference between these two. Yes, there is. This one has 300,000 capacity and this one has 400,000 capacity. So they are not purely um, aesthetic. I'm gonna place one of them down here. It's too bad it won't fit in between here, but that's okay. Cause I am kind of running out of room already. Huh, okay. Well, this isn't a huge deal because I could probably fit one of these. I can fit one here, but I don't know. It's kind of close to the highway. I mean, yeah, I could get one to fit here. I'll just have to move this dirt road. Let's do that.
there. And honestly, that's probably a good idea because it creates one less intersection in this road. You know, the main avenues and stuff, main road, you don't really want to have too many intersections in too much of a tight spot. So there, let's have this storage unit here. And I'm going to set all of these to fill. There we are. And let's see how things are going. So we have enough workers and production is actually going very well. So we're going to get to level three in no time. I'm just hoping I'm going to have enough room at this point because like this whole island here is pretty much all capped out. <laughs> and while I'm thinking of it, I should probably resize my zone here to encompass these storage units. Doesn't really matter, but I kind of like it to, to be more organized. Oh crap, this building doesn't have any power. Can we provide them power without actually drawing some power lines? We probably can. I am just going to slightly modify our terrain here. Actually flatten this out. And then I'm going to place out another tunnel right here. Not a tunnel, but like an underground mine. Okay, now it's just a matter of waiting till we get to level three as far as resources produced. So I will once again skip ahead, guys, and I'll meet you back in like two minutes. Hey, look at that, you guys. Level three already. All right, so we unlocked a rotary kiln plant, an electronics factory. That's cool. And a seabed mining vessel. Oh, shoot. Yeah. All right. I'll have to create a sort of enclave mining area in another area of the city and then a medium ore mine. Okay, that's interesting. All right, well, let's uh, first proactively place down a rotary kiln. And what this does is super simple. It's basically a large version of the grinding mill. And holy crap, is it ever massive? Where am I going to fit this? It looks like it'll fit right here though, right by the water. I'm gonna do that. Doesn't look like it ruined the river any. I think that's okay just like that, actually. That's, uh, this is really cool. Awesome. <laughs> this parking lot's kind of screwed up, but that's okay. All right, so this building will now become functional. You know what I should do in order to prevent traffic backups, I will rearrange this as a one way going around like this. Or actually, you know what? To make this even more efficient, I will reverse the direction of this one way. So there is only right turn. So now this will become super efficient. It makes a little bit of a detour though for any trucks that want to come into the quarry, but what I should maybe do is create some secondary entrances at one point. Maybe you have an, a secondary entrance kind of zigzagging its way into the quarry. But for now, let's not worry about that. Let's just worry about placing down a couple of medium ore mines. And these have a production rate of 8,000. So now we're getting into kind of the big leagues. Because look at the size of this. This is pretty huge. So I'm going to place one over here in this little gully. And then I'll place another one over here. And I guess one more here. So for this episode, guys, I'm not worrying about the terrain at all. That will be for maybe next episode. If not, maybe the next one after that. My goal is... Um, Okay, so then we have a large underground mine. My goal is to place a large ore mine right in the middle here. I don't know how big this machine is, but I've placed it down in a couple of my other cities and they are absolutely massive. So I'm hoping it'll fit inside of this hole here. I may have to like redo this, but yeah, that's the objective. I want this to fit inside this quarry here. As far as everything else goes, I'll just work with it and make it fit. 
So there we go, guys. That is as far as I'm going to make it for this episode. So at least we have a functional quarry. We have everything we need, really. Um, we're producing metals and some glass. I think those are the only two items that can be created from a quarry. But that's okay. Because uh, in the not too distant future, I would like to get into some factories. And then we can start to make some real good money. So yeah, that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a good old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well to get notified when I drop another video. So guys, until the next episode, please take care.